Hi, my name is Corinne and I did my online presentation on Cristobal Balenciaga. A little bit of an introduction to Balenciaga is that he was born on January 21st, 1895 in the Basque fishing village of Guataria, Spain. He grew up with his mother Martina Izaguirre and Bill who worked as a seamstress. He got his start in fashion through his mother primarily and started working for a tailor at age 12. He was an entirely self-taught fashion designer because of a lack of schooling. There were not fashion schools back when he was growing up. He is known for an incredible 50-year career in fashion. And he passed away on March 23rd, 1972 from a heart attack that later caused heart failure. Next, we are going to take a look at a timeline of Cristobal Balenciaga's life. In 1895, as I previously stated, Cristobal Balenciaga was born in Guataria, Spain. In 1907, he started working for a local tailor at only age 12. Next, in 1917, he opened a boutique in San Sebastian, Spain. Later, in 1936, he moved to Paris, France because of the Spanish Civil War. In 1937, he opened his first fashion house in Paris. Next, in 1947, he launched his first fragrance, Le Dix, which ended up being extremely popular. In 1949, because of the success of his first fragrance, he launched a second fragrance called Le Fruit des Jueres. Continuing with the timeline of Cristobal Valenciaga's life, in 1952, he pioneered the iconic semi-fitted look, which would later cause people to call him the father of fashion in the 20th century. In 1955, he launched his third fragrance, Quadrille, and created the tunic dress. In 1958, he presented the baby doll dress, balloon skirt, and the cocoon coat for the first time. In 1968, he retired and closed his couture house. And lastly, in 1972, he unfortunately passed away from a heart attack that resulted in heart failure. Some of his iconic garments were the balloon skirt, seen on the left, the cocoon coat, seen in the middle, and the baby doll dress, seen on the right. First, the balloon skirt. The idea of the balloon skirt was first brought up by Cristobal in 1951. The balloon skirt was presented officially for the first time in 1958. The balloon skirt is known for being romantic and feminine, and it had many unique features such as its voluptuous fabric and special cuts. Next, the cocoon coat. In 1955, Cristobal designed the tunic dress, which later inspired the cocoon coat. The cocoon coat was presented for the first time in 1958 as well, and Balenciaga was known for unique silhouettes, and the cocoon coat is a perfect example of this. And the cocoon coat is known for its unique shape and volume, similar to the balloon skirt. Lastly, the baby doll dress. Experimentation behind the baby doll dress first began in 1947. The baby doll dress was first presented in 1958. It was known for its unique shape that erased the waist. Balenciaga went on to release multiple different versions of the baby doll dress throughout his career, and this is a style that we still see today in fashion. Overall, you can see that the main theme between Balenciaga's iconic garments was their unique shapes and silhouettes, which is something that Balenciaga was extremely well known for. Visual aesthetics. Balenciaga was known best for giving women's fashion unique shapes and silhouettes. This is still very much a theme in today's Balenciaga. One of Balenciaga's most famous creations was the semi-fitted look. The semi-fitted look was revolutionary because it steered away from the corseted look that was very popular at the time. His work was sought after because of his unique designs and never before seen shapes. He is known as the master of haute couture. The images in the right, the red image is a more recent runway image from Balenciaga that demonstrates the unique shapes of the outfits that they create. The image on the upper right is a demonstration of the semi-fitted look. And the bottom image is an image of a Balenciaga shoe that demonstrates a unique shape as well. Target customer. Balenciaga designed for a very specific type of woman no younger than the age of 25, but with no upper age gap. He was known to have said that his work was not created for women who were extremely thin. He did not want his designs presented on women with that body type. 
Balenciaga also had salespeople that did his fittings for him because he did not like the interaction with customers or press. He was also known for creating designs solely for him and his own pleasure and not for the appeasement of his consumers. He was also involved of each of his designs to the fullest extent, which really, in my opinion, demonstrates the passion for fashion that he had. Sourcing. Balenciaga is owned by Keering, a French fashion group. Keering wants the brands that they own to be sustainable brands and have a small negative impact on the environment. Balenciaga plans to reach 100% sustainable sourcing by 2025. Most Balenciaga products are manufactured in Italy. However, the Triple S and Track sneakers from Balenciaga are the only products that are manufactured outside of Italy in China. Many customers complained when it was released that Balenciaga products were being manufactured in China. Merchandising. Many Balenciaga stores have some of the best and most interesting merchandise displays seen in retail stores today. Often there are certain garments and or collections merchandised by color for a monochromatic look. A variety of hang racks and table displays are used to show different products to the customers. There is usually not a lot of product in the store to keep the focus on the items that are there, and Balenciaga stores have a very high-end and sophisticated look. In the images on the right, there are two pictures of in-store Balenciagas, and you can see the displays of all the different garments, but there are minimal items, and there is a variety of hang racks, shelves, and tables where the merchandise is displayed. Retail Formats there are currently 38 Balenciaga stores in the United States. In 2020, it was recorded that there were 182 Balenciaga stores worldwide. Since 2020, Balenciaga has opened multiple store locations in Canada. There were no stores previously located in Canada. Balenciaga has concessions, shopping stores, and wholesale distribution in multi-brand retailers such as Nordstrom. You can also shop and purchase items through the Balenciaga website. In the images on the right, there are multiple pictures of Balenciaga stores. Lastly, these are the sources I used for this project in order to gather all of this information on Cristobal Balenciaga. I hope you all enjoyed learning about him, his life, and his work. Thank you.